politician out by saying, I lull them into a false sense of security by letting them watch me pitch. Dan Quisenberry died early this morning in Leowood, Kansas, following a nine-month battle with brain cancer. He was only 45. Here's Bond Lee. It seems like yesterday. It seems like never. It lasted so long. It went so fast. Those are Dan Quisenberry's words from the poetry he wrote in recent years. Just another facet of Quisenberry that, like his personality and his pitching, separated him from the ordinary. Know this about the submarining reliever. On one of the best teams of the past generation, when it mattered the most, Quiz got the ball. I played in a special time in this city, the Kansas City Royals. I loved playing in those years with those guys. We, we leaned on him. When he came in, we, hey, you can't blow this. And he knew it, we knew it, and very seldom did he ever blow it. And that's the difference between saving games when they mean something and saving games when you're just on a team that happens to be the savior on that team or the closer on that team. He's one of the last guys, as far as closers, to, to go three innings for a save. I mean, when, when it came, uh, came around the seventh inning and, and the game was close, Quiz got the ball. And uh, well, that's probably why he doesn't have as many saves as a lot of the other guys do because nowadays they're going one inning, you know, Max. Quisenberry pitched in every game of the 1980 World Series, saving one and winning another. He seemed like he had a lot of fun in the game, and, and uh, that's nice to see because I know how tough it is, and I know there was a lot of pressure for him, and but he sure did act like uh, he was enjoying it. He developed from a mid-season call-up to a five-time Fireman of the Year, twice a Cy Young runner-up, and the first major leaguer to fashion back-to-back 40-save -back seasons. He was from the old school. You know, we played the game for the love and the fun of the game, and uh, uh, not for the money. Money has a funny way of taking the innocence out of the game, and Dan kept that innocence in the game. But the quiz was not only one of a kind on the mound, he was unique in life. He's a very, very intelligent guy, one of the few guys I've ever played with that could do the New York Times or the crosswords in the paper wherever we went. He always had that crossword puzzle in his, in his locker and he was always filling it out. And um, a, a decent bridge player. He picked up the game of bridge very, very quick. So he was a pretty intelligent guy. And there's not a lot of real intelligent people in the game of baseball. And, and uh, I think Dan's, uh, Dan's way to feel more like a normal one, one of the guys was to be funny. When Dan first came up, you know, he more he resembled more a school teacher or a professor than than a, than a pitcher, and we went through some great years together. Wisenberry's famous critique of his profile on the mound: "I found a delivery in my flaw." He even confronted his terminal illness with typical off-center logic. Oh, a friend asked me, um, "Do you ever say why me?" and um, I can't really ask that because why not me? Um, I've had so much go so well. Um, I don't. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. Um, so why not me? Quisenberry won his World Series ring playing for Dick Hauser in 1985. Hauser too died of a brain tumor. One diagnosed nine months after the Royals' finest hour. The news of Quisenberry's diagnosis literally brought Hauser's widow to her knees. Ultimately, um, my days are, um, uh, you know, moved by the one who creates time. The numbers say he was 17th in all-time saves. With control and precision rarely seen in the game, the images are of a man of rare perspective and humor, grounded in family, star on a memorable team, whose own poetry best captured the innocent joy he brought to his job. We were good, blessed by Spring's hope that has burned through every player since Ty Cobb and Honus Wagner. We were Spring. We were lust. We were vibrant. We sipped from the cup of the fountain of youth. And we played. Just played. Brain cancer. Quisenberry was best known for his underhanded submarine delivery and it worked. He was a three-time All-Star, leading the American League in saves four years in a row from 1982 to 1985. 
Quiz underwent surgery twice this year to remove the tumors, but doctors could not save his life. He's better off where he's at, and better off with his family uh, and where he's at right now, and, and uh, it takes a little pressure off their whole family. It's one of the most unique relief pitchers that you'd want to see, the way he delivered the baseball, but he was a fiery uh, competitor, outspoken individual. I went over to his church a couple of times to have uh, questions and answers and some and a dinner and uh, laughed all night. You know, he he had a great wit, um, spontaneous, humorous. Had uh, I think he more than anything you could tell that he really loved life. Dan Quisenberry was inducted into the Royals Hall of Fame on May 30th. He survived by his wife Janie and two children. Quisenberry was 45 years old.